pineal gland is a tiny little gland, a little bigger than the size of a grain of rice. It's right between the back of your throat and the back of your head. That's why the pineal is called the, the third eye. It should be called the first eye because that's where we really see. The brain goes into gamma brainwave patterns and the person is feeling an awakening. The pineal gland has been known to be called the third eye because once it's stimulated and activated to the next level, it gives us profound inner vision. The pineal gland is very sensitive to visible light, light that's coming from the sun or light that's coming from lights that we have in our homes or in our offices. That wavelength of light, once light is perceived when our eyes are open, the frequency of light is picked up by the optic nerve, and it sends a signal right to a nucleus in the brain called the suprachiasmic nucleus. That nucleus signals the sympathetic nervous system, which signals the pineal gland, and the pineal gland gets busy making a neurotransmitter called serotonin. And serotonin is the daytime neurotransmitter that once activated begins to cause us to become aware that we're local in space and time and we become conscious that we're our bodies in an environment and in time. And it produces a certain brainwave frequency called beta brainwave frequencies. It is beta brainwaves that causes us to put most of our attention on the outer world. And so the inhibition of light signals the same nucleus in the brain called the suprachiasmic nucleus, which then dampens down the sympathetic nervous system. And now the pineal gland begins to make a chemical called melatonin. And melatonin is the nighttime neurotransmitter. And as melatonin levels begin to rise because of darkness in the evening, then all of a sudden we begin to slow our brain waves down into alpha and theta and ultimately delta. And it's melatonin then that allows our body to restore and regenerate. You know, melatonin already causes you to dream, but <laughs> you're gonna lucid dream. You're gonna get switched on and you're gonna have a full on sensory experience between your ears. It's gonna feel like more real than anything you experienced in your life. And that, that, that brain goes into a gamma brainwave state in super, coherent, highly organized gamma brainwave patterns and the autonomic nervous system now is on fire. And it's processing and the autonomic nervous system is controlling, coordinating all those systems. It's, it's keeping um, blood flow going and, and, and um, vasodilation and, and gene expression and hormones and enzymes and digestion and you know, all those things happening, the automatic system. Now it's processing a more coherent rhythmic, very fast frequency that's sending a very coherent message to all the cells and tissues and organs of the body and the person's feeling something that's physical but and yet it's not. It's, it's not an emotion, it's electromagnetisms and energy. Melatonin levels are at their highest during a 24-hour cycle between 1 a.m. and 4 a.m. And that's important for you to know because when we do the meditation to activate this ancient gland in the back of the brain, it's always important to know that it's a good idea to wake up early enough when the raw materials are at their height. When energy begins to um, interact with those latent systems and the pineal gland has those little tiny um, calcite crystals and they're rhomb rhombohedron in shape and they're stacked up on top of each other and they're in our pineal glands. Everybody has them in there. And when we do that breath and we, we hold our breath and we begin to contract and pump and pull those intrinsic muscles in, it's the activation of the, those crystals because the, the, the mechanical stress that we're putting against it as we hold our breath and pump begins to produce what's called a piezoelectric effect. Now it's now it's now mechanical stress is turning into an electrical charge. Now now it's electrically activated. So energy is going to move that direction. So then if you do this properly and you begin to electrically activate those crystals, they begin to shimmer like a radio receiver. And if you can suppress the neocortex by dialing down the brain waves into a low level of alpha and even theta, uh, and the person knows how to be conscious in their subconscious mind, and now the, 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 the antenna is on, now you gotta learn how to use it. You gotta learn how to tune into frequencies and energies. It inhibited atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries. It heightens both cellular and metabolic immune responses.
It decreased certain tumor developments in laboratory animals. In certain laboratory animals, it increased lifespan by 25%. It has a very important neuroprotective role in the brain. It increases REM sleep. It is an important free radical scavenger and antioxidant. Now, antioxidant means anti-cancer, anti-aging, anti-heart disease, anti-stroke, anti-neurodegenerative, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial. Take one slow, steady breath. And as you slowly follow your breath and you contract those intrinsic muscles, as you follow your breath and you bring that breath all the way up to that pineal gland, and you hold your breath and you keep your attention on that pineal gland, that's your target. The act of contracting those muscles along with the holding of your breath would begin to push cerebral spinal fluid right up into your brain. And as you begin to hold your breath, you're pushing that cerebral spinal fluid right up against the crystals of the pineal gland and applying a mechanical stress. And then the mechanical stress begins to electrically activate those crystals. And when those crystals become electrically activated, we are turning on the radio receiver in the brain. And you switch on the brain's radio receiver, and now the brain can tune in the frequencies beyond the senses. And that is the mystical gland. And the research says it's a transducer, taking energy and information in one form and turning it into pictures and images, meaning. And that's why it's called the third eye, because you have an inner vision that's more real than the outer world. The brain now is picking up information from the field and it's transducing it into profound imagery, a mystical transcendental moment. And we do the breath. When you finish that breath, I'm gonna ask you to finish it right on that pineal gland, that's your target. And once that sympathetic nervous system switches on, there's an arousal. And that energy is not gonna be moving out. The sympathetic nervous system is going to merge with the parasympathetic nervous system and that energy is going to be released up into the brain. Are you with me still? And there's a gate at the brain stem called the thalamic gate. And that gate opens wide up. And that energy moves right up to the brain. Now, once the energy makes it to the top of the head, all that energy that was stored in the body, the 95%, is now moving up towards the brain. And as the energy moves up towards the brain, you get a positive charge here and a negative charge here. And you have a positive charge here and a negative charge here. What do you have? A magnet. And all of a sudden, you start producing this external electromagnetic field. And that energy goes right up to the pineal gland and it signals that pineal gland and the brain goes into gamma brainwave patterns and the person is feeling an awakening.